What's going on everybody? Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. We are wrapping up the Pro Master Build van tour on that coming soon. And we were lucky enough to have our friends, Summit of Freedom, Ori, Carol Marie, and Etta Rose come visit us and help us finish up the build. So we figured while they're at our house, we might as well do a van tour. So let's go outside. We're gonna take Vance out there and show you guys their van. Let me see that cute baby. <laughs> Here's our next build, a 2019 170 Extended Sprinter. We're doing the, the look at the butt on that thing. <laughs> we're doing the family van in. Yeah, we're back. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> Say hi, baby Vance. <laughs> So we are here with our good friends who we have known through the internet for two years now. Yeah. Finally met them a week ago. We've had a blast hanging out with them. Ori is a very skilled van builder who has been helping <laughs> me finish up this ProMaster build. Don't mind the big bug flying around. But we have Carol Marie, adorable Etta Rose, and Ori Blackwood. And they together make up Summit of Freedom. And they've been traveling around. How long have you guys been in your van? About six months. Yeah. Six yeah. months. So they've hit the west. They've come from Tennessee, hit a little bit of the west coast. Canada, I know you guys really, yeah, really like awesome. Canada. Yeah. What was your favorite spot in Canada that you went to? Oh, that's so hard. Yeah. I really liked Jasper because yeah. it's a little more wild. Yeah. Less, but, less uh, popular too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Etta Rose really wants to show us her van and show us where she sleeps because this is a 170 extended Sprinter. Say 2015? 13. 2013. 2013. Yeah. And they have the bed in the back, a convertible table bed, and they also have a separate sleeping area up in the front for Etta Rose, which we're excited to show you. So, we'll show you some of the fun features of this Sprinter build-out. Carol Marie is up first. She's going to show us a little bit of the front of the van because you guys had to have a seat. Yeah, we did. That was the most important thing is that we got a cargo van, so it only came with the driver's seat and the passenger seat. So we had this two-person bench seat install installed. Oh, installed. <laughs> um, we decided to go with two because we obviously needed one for Edoros, but you just never know. Like if we're going to have a visitor or something else might come up along the way. I don't know. Oh, I don't <laughs> know what that means. Eventually, eventually. Yeah. Just in case. You can never be too prepared. Um, so we had a Ford Transit seat put in. So. Yeah, they didn't have it put in. Ori put this That's in. Right. And maybe someday he'll do a blog post on their website about how he did it. Because I know that this thing can roll down a mountain and the seat is not going to come off or move. So, That's what he always says. So. Yes. He likes to weld. Metal is kind of his thing. <laughs> Very much. Um, first thing also when we're coming into the van is we wanted a place to put our dirty shoes after we've been hiking and you can see it is really dirty. Um, so we got our hiking boots in there. It's like a fun little storage compartment. I love that they what even have a little broom right here. This is key. We always had a little broom right next to our sliding door. Yeah, it's nice because you can just brush off your shoes and also brush off all the dirt that you track in after yeah, hiking. Definitely. And then I don't know what this is. I really haven't even seen it yet. <laughs> Talk to me about what you have going on behind your little faux wall there. That is our closet. So all of Ori's clothes are in the top. Um, and then we have room for hanging clothes down in the bottom. And we also store Etta Rose's clothes. And then down in the floor of that closet is where we keep all of our dirty clothes. Dirty okay. clothes bag. Like True Van Lifers, <laughs> they've utilized all of the space behind the seat, underneath the seat, yeah. even underneath the passenger seat because they installed their heater somewhere else. So they've got shoes down there, the fire extinguisher, all that good stuff. Because all space is important space. <laughs> very, put very that on true. a t-shirt. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, tell us about your bathroom. Okay, so it was really important for us to have a bathroom because with a kid, you know, it's just you never know when you're going to need to hose somebody down. So um, we put that in there. It, we have hot water on demand, um, and then we also have our toilet that is a urine diverting toilet. It's inside of our shower. You've seen it in our other builds. If you've say. seen any of our builds, the urine diverting toilet from separate. However, we do poop in our van because, <laughs> you know. That we just want to be able to go whenever we want to. Yeah. And we have a little girl, so. Ori and I were talking about this morning. They're they're big on the bag it and get rid of it. Which, <laughs> if you're going to go in a van, that's 
my number one way. And you've got a privacy curtain up here. You do have a custom headliner shelf that you that you built. Yes. And this is where you keep Ed Rose's the, yeah, mattress. Ed Rose's mattress. Yeah. So next, let's show you guys where Ed Rose actually sleeps after you pull that mattress down. <laughs> Yeah, you love baby Vance? Yeah, he's taking a nap. He's tired. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's put your bed up, okay? All right, we gotta show the rest of the van. Show the rest of the van. I like your mirror. Thank you. Sarah would be jealous of that. We don't have <laughs> one that big in any of our vans. I and know. then that gives you somewhere to obviously get ready. And then you have a very big kitchen. Talk to us about the kitchen. Yeah, we do. So it was important to me to have a really awesome kitchen because we cook a lot. We mm -hmm only eat out like maybe once every other week sometimes a little bit more it just depends so we do a lot of cooking so wanted a good size sink this is just a bar size sink and faucet but I really wanted to have the stovetop already installed into the counter space because I didn't want to have to be getting it out all the time just because the key for me is like easy breezy if it's yeah. not easy then I'm not gonna do it I get that but I really like that this is this one's flat so you really don't lose the counter space like yeah. if you had a, a different mounted one. Yeah. Um, and then we also have a, have a toaster oven that we store down here in the drawer um, that we use too for like frozen foods and stuff. Yep, because they have tons of power, which I will talk to Ori about later. Yes. They have Battleborn batteries in here and he's connected the alternator for additional charging when they're driving. And if you are wondering what these products are, where you can pick up this uh, stove top or where you can pick up the sink or faucet, they have a website that they built on Squarespace. That's Had you right. ever built a website before you built your Summit of Freedom <laughs> website? No. So they'd never built a website before. They were able to use the awesome templates on Squarespace, yes. build a great website, and recently you did the Amazon affiliate integration, right? Yeah, we did, and that was super easy. Everything on Squarespace is so easy. So if you have questions about anything in their van, you can go to their website, which is linked down below. Again, built on Squarespace, see the products that they used in their van, use the Amazon affiliate links and buy them yourself for your own van conversion. And if you want to try out Squarespace, you can go to squarespace.com to get your free trial. And if you're interested in actually buying a website or a domain, go to squarespace.com forward slash 40 hours to get 10% off of your site or domain. We can't not talk about your tile backsplash yeah. because this is definitely an eye feature. Really enjoy what you guys did here. White subway Thank tile. You. And you guys used the simple mat to install this, right? Yes, we did. Yeah, somebody actually told Ori about that and said that they thought it would be perfect because it's flexible and it's a lot easier than grout. Plus, we'd never even done tile before we installed yeah. this, so it just made it really easy on yeah. us. So we're actually going to be using that on the ProMaster build for their tile backsplash in their kitchen. So you can get it at Home Depot, simple mat. It's going to go on, and then we'll place the tile, and then you do come over and grout, but you don't have to use any mud, which is yeah. really cool. So yeah. it saves a ton of time. You have separate gray water t or separate freshwater tanks for your sink, right? Yes, we do. We have 14 gallons of fresh water that just go to our sink. Awesome. We also have a humongous refrigerator. Um, we I think it's like one of the biggest ones that Dometic makes. Once again, because we cook all of the time. Plus, we have a little girl. It's just like you really need a lot of food all the time. And so, um, yeah, we have a really big fridge. I'll show you that. That thing is massive! Oh my gosh! It's wow! Massive. How many liters is this thing? Do you know? I don't don't know. It's like it's like a, one. That's got to be like a 130 or something. <laughs> wow! 640 liters. <laughs> yes, that big. That is um, so big. But it has a freezer and a refrigerator. Wow! So yeah, that thing is huge. I know. It, it's like MTV Cribs. I'm showing you. My <laughs> These are really comfortable benches. Yeah. Yeah. I like the height. Really comfortable cushions. I've sat in a lot of vans. What kind of foam did you guys use? So we got latex. It's 100% latex. Okay. Um, you just found a website. I'll have to look it up. But um, the latex has holes drilled in it, so it allows air to breathe. They're not cold, but they also don't get as hot. Okay. And they're they're dense. I like a firm mattress, so I would actually prefer to sleep on this than any other bed, like hotels or at somebody's house. I would rather sleep in my van on my mattress. They have not so. slept in our guest room. Yeah. They refuse. <laughs> I like Go the figure. Yeah. 
Yeah, no and doubt. you got a nice big table. This again does convert to the table from the table bed seating area down into a bed. To us about plumbing and electrical, it's one of those topics yeah. that everyone wants to hear about in advance. So give us the specs and the rundown. All right, so on electrical, we went with Battleborn. We did four 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate batteries. We did a 3000 watt inverter, um, with it, which is Victron. We also did a Victron solar controller and we have four 100 watt Renogy panels on the roof. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for that. We did the 3000 watt inverter because we have an electric water heater. Also, we have a toaster oven that we pull out and use from time to time. And then all of the hair products that Kilmer <laughs> uses, you know, straightener, blow dryer, whatever. We wanted to have no trouble with yeah. our power. Um, if you have anything that's gonna be pulling over 1500 watts, you're gonna need at least a 3000 watt. Inverter. Yeah, so we've met a lot of people with 2000 watt inverters and they can't do a lot of stuff in their van. And so it's kind of a shame. So I definitely recommend the 3000 yeah. watt. We had that experience with our first van. Oh yeah. We had a 2000 <laughs> watt in inverter and we could hardly ever use our hot water heater. So yeah. it's the same one. You guys have the Bosch two and a half gallon hot water heater. We have the four gallon. Oh yeah. Big spender. Cause we yeah. have three people to shower. So yeah. Yeah, we, gotcha. uh, but yeah, no, it works about the same as the two and a half. Yeah, um, so for plumbing, we did, um, we have a one water pump for our shower, then we have a separate water pump for our sink. So our shower tank is over here, our sink tanks are over here. Um, for the shower, we have the three gallon per minute Seaflow pump. Is that right? Three, yeah. yeah. And then uh, we have PEX. We did all PEX plumbing inside the van, so we have PEX lines running from the water tank to the shower. And then, um, yeah, that's pretty much it over there. For the sink tank, we just did the nylon braided hose because there's no hot water. We just have cold water going to our sink, so no problem there. Um, yeah, I think that's it. That's kind of it on the electrical and the plumbing. Yeah. And you did install your heater in a different oh, yeah. location. Where'd you install that? So I wanted the heat to evenly disperse in the van instead of just heating the front or the rear. So we mounted it, what I would consider dead center, which is right behind the shower in the floor. And uh, I'm really glad we did. And it has a little, you can point which direction the air blows. So if we need more heat in the front, we can kind of twist it to get it more evenly distributed. Yeah. Yeah, very happy with that. Well, and that's great because you have Edda Rose's bed right there. Yeah. So if you had the heater <laughs> yeah. mounted underneath the passenger seat, uh, it she would, would her. Yeah. yeah, she'd be she'd be crawling in bed with you every day, yeah. like midnight. She's like, I'm too hot. <laughs> What's one aspect of your build that looking back on that you're really glad that you did? There's several. I'm really glad we did the electrical as big as we did. So super satisfied. A lot of people will do 300 amp powers, but we went with four. We've never ever had to plug up ever so we've been gone for six months and never had to plug in and recharge um i really like that the alternator is another like i hugely recommend that because even if we're not catching much solar we can still charge our batteries because yeah. we drive every day i mean a little bit at least so yeah that's the big thing was the electrical well what's what's and, oh sorry the shower like we're, <laughs> we're glad we did the shower yeah yeah we so agree. Agree. showering yeah. in your van nobody likes to go to bed dirty no um, what's one thing that maybe you would do different if you did another build? Um, our closet, it's not really, it doesn't function as good as we'd hoped. So we would want to redesign the closet. Okay. Yeah. But overall, beautiful build. The quality of the finish on this one is really great. That's one thing that you notice when you see some of these vans around. Um, the finish work on this one, everything looks really seamless. The way that they capped everything off, even the trim details they did around the back door area are really cool. So, great to, to meet you guys in person. Yeah, Thank you for showing us your van and showing the world your van. If you have questions or comments, drop them down in the description below. If you want to subscribe for more van life content, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you want to learn more about Ori and follow their adventures, we will link their Instagram down below, Summit of Freedom. And again, there is a link to their website where you can go and check out their Squarespace website and all the products that they use in their van build. So hope you guys enjoyed this and we'll see you next time. Bye to everybody. Bye-bye. Wait, bye. Bye-bye. No, I don't listen to you. No, you don't want to? Okay. <laughs> Can we get a photo?